Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is about pivot tables. And this is a special request from one of my students. Uh, so, Brandon, this is your video. And let's share it. What is the problem here? We have more than one databases and we need to combine in only one. And if we go to accounting stuff, so let's talk about sales revenue. So what is our problem here? Let's consider we have three products or three facilities or three whatever, and we have three databases, one for product A, one for pro product B, one for product C. And here we have our sales team. Product A, we have 100 and something uh, salesperson. Uh, product B, 61. Product C, we have 50. However, we have a problem here. Some of the employees, they sell only one product. Some of them sell two products and maybe some of them sell three products. So the same name that we can have it here, for instance, Alistair Cooley, Alistair Cooley, product A and B. How do we combine it? How do we create only one without these, uh, without having the same name, without having to look at working with Control F? and so on. So how do we do that? How do we know, for instance, how much the total sales of Alistair Cooley? And we are not sure if this product A is the whole database. Maybe there are some uh, employees on product B and C that are not product A. And here we would have a problem. For instance, Isaiah Roland, Product B, not on product A. So we cannot take this product A as our main database because there will be missing values. And we can we could work with the conditional formatting or with our data to remove duplicates and so on, but we would be removing our numbers and we don't want to remove our numbers. We could create some codes for each name. So let's replace names by numbers and then numbers we can uh, combine them, summarize them better. Too much work. We have a much easier way working with pivot tables. What do we need to do? We need to create a new database. And we need to create name, products that they are selling, and total sales. Or to make it easier, let's create name sales that is the same format here and product on column C. So let's go. Name equal the first one, total sales. Of sales and what is the product? Product A. And let's fix this numbers number because our product A we will use for the other employees. So let's copy and paste here. I don't know how many. So let's copy and paste here. That ends. So let's start product B. So equal product B. Product B and product B, F4, we are fixing it. So we have now the second database for product B, a little bit shorter. And product C, the name here. Sales and F4, our product. 
This is a very bad database, by the way. Uh, we should have it in only one database, but we don't. And if we don't, we need to fix it. Sometimes our data, they are not so pretty as we would like. So we need to fix it. Uh, okay. Here they are. So now we have our new database. And let's go insert pivot table. Excel usually provides our complete database. We only need to double check. Our database is cool. Let's assign it on the new worksheet. And what do we want now? I will be at the center. Cool. Our, we want the same here. Name and then sales. However, we need three columns here. Sales product A, product B, and product C. So, name on rows, product on columns. So, name, product A, product B, product C, and sales. Sales here and total. Okay, if your pivot table doesn't show you the total, how do you fix it? Analyze or design. So, analyze. Uh, oh, where is it? Oh, pivot tables options. So right click, pivot tables options, and totals and filters. Show grand totals for rows, show grand totals for columns. If I unselect it here, oh. Okay, should have closed, but show grand columns for columns. And the row, they are here, the grand total for rows. Okay, so usually we have, what do we need to do now? We need to make it pretty. So right click, value field settings, the sum. We are good, sum of sales, but number format, currency. We don't want, we don't need to do it for product A, B, and C. We do it only once. And we have it. We have it pretty for everything. However, we want to know which employee sells product A and product B, or product A and product C. We have two ways to do that. The first one. Uh, we go data, go away from our pivot table and filter. Here we have a filter now. So I want to know the employees that sells only or that sells product B. So let, let's take out the blank ones. Cool. I want to know which one sells only product B. So what do we know? Product A. Deselect here and select only the blank ones. So we don't sell product A. Here. The same product C. Blanks. Now, these are the employees that sell only product B. What else? Product B and C. So on C, now we select all. And we deselect blank because I, we don't want product B or C. We want product B and C. We have here very few cell product B and C. Product A, B, and C. We have only one, probably. No, no employees. We have no one here selling everything. So select all. Select all. So let's select all for everyone. Uh, so let's check now who sells product A and C. 
or product A or C. Product A or N or. Let's take out blanks. And product B blank. So product A and C only. Or now, product A and B. Product A and B, these are the ones that we have. And if we want to add the total, only select the total here. And we have the total. However, this total, it is not dynamic. This total is static. So here is our main total is not the total for our filter. Okay, so that's... How do we do the total for the filters? It's easy. Let's select everything, okay. Subtotal. Equal subtotal. What do we want? Average, out, max, mean, and so on. We want to sum. What do we need to sum? This one until the very end. Until this one here. And let's add the currency. Let's add the currency here. And now, the totals, they are the same because we have all of our numbers. Oh, let's take the grand total as well. However, now, let's consider that sales product A. So let's take out the total as well. And B. Here we have our new totals. And let's leave the grand total here. So now we have only the total of our numbers here so that's it that is how we do this kind of this kind of problems here so let's select it all select all here and then we will have all of our numbers okay guys so that's it subscribe our channel you will be the first one to know when a new video arrives like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarpy. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarpy at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Have a very nice day and God bless you.